Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. On today's edition, we're going to be discussing technical analysis, reoccurring shapes and patterns, part two of two. Continuing with our theme of looking for reoccurring shapes and patterns in technical analysis, we now turn our attention to example A, which is a one hour chart of the GBP USD pair. Here we can see price action without technical indicators, but we have drawn two wedge shapes on our chart. The wedge shape pattern on the left began when price action was fairly muted, but began to become more volatile throughout the period, with the bottom of the wedge holding firm as an area of support. Only when the ascending area of resistance in the wedge shape is pierced at the top, as volatility increases, do we see the pair come back down and breach through the area of support, offering a pullback for the bears. To the right of the screen we have an opposite effect, where after a period of volatility within the wedge shape, price action becomes more muted as it falls down through the area of support. This time when price action becomes contracted due to consolidation within the market, this time when price action becomes contracted due to consolidation within the market, price action rejects the support line and exits the wedge shape, and the bulls take control of the price action. Example B is a 15 minute chart of the USDJPY pair. This is a classic head and shoulders shape. After a period of consolidation which forms the basis of the left shoulder, price action is followed by a spike higher, which becomes the head and where subsequent price action will consolidate by the right shoulder. After this, traders look for a sell-off, which indeed does happen in this case, and is the basis of the right shoulder. Traders are particularly fond of this particular shape and closely look out for it. Example C is of the USDJPY 15 minute chart. We have another chart which is called the butterfly. In these circumstances, we have a sell-off where the price action consolidates at a very narrow section before we see the bulls come back in and drive price action back to similar levels previously. Finally, example D is a one hour chart of the Euro USD pair and it just also re-emphasizes from part one, price action does not move in straight lines. When studied on a chart, it is clear to see that price action will regularly move in waves of half circles. Keep a lookout for shapes and patterns which we have identified in part one and two because they are a regular reoccurring feature on price action when trading the Forex market. When viewed like this, it's much easier to pick out how much price action is evolving on your charts. Use drawing tools which may be available on your chart software and identify chart patterns and then use them to calculate support and resistance lines where price action might break out, stall, consolidate or reverse. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.